<laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Swills here. And I'm Marcus I'm, Baby. I, he is Marcus Baby. Look at that. M for Marcus. This is a Wendy's rapper. Today, we are reviewing the new Uzi album, The Pink Tape. And uh, hopefully, I mean, we went into this hoping this was going to be the first good album we would listen to in a while on this channel. Am I, am I playing the songs too? You can play a little bit of them, sure. Oh, yeah. You know, um, we haven't listened to a good album since the Metro Boomin one. When did that release? That was November, right? Yeah, it was like November, December, Jeez. somewhere around like oh, the fall. Oh, what about Her Loss? That was around the same time. Yeah. I think it was like a week within each other. Something like that. All right, so we are, we just came back from the gym. You know how we, you know how we do with the crew and Stu. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking huge today. Oh, all right, keep going. Yeah, it's looking big today. <laughs> so, um, we're starting with these songs. Let's go right into it. Let's not waste any right, time, any more time. Flood of the Face. I think we both give this one a 7-3. It was an all right introduction. It never quite, like the bass never quite dropped on this one. I felt like it, it, it left a little to be desired. But overall, just a strong start to the, uh, to the album. Next up, we got Suicide Doors. This one was bad. This is a three from Sean and a oh, no. four point five from me. All right, let's get right into the middle of it. Right. This is the one where he was like coughing up a loogie like every couple. Oh sessions. yeah, he had a problem, man. I don't know. I don't know. He's got to quit the vapes, man. I don't this understand one. what's with the, uh, the like. It's just crazy. You can't be doing that in the songs. It's kind of put it off putting. Also, shout out Jaleel. I don't know if Jaleel was on any of these Jaleel. songs. Yeah. But it sounded like he was on every single one of these songs. I'm not going to lie. I think Uzi got inspired by Jaleel. Shout out Jaleel. If you know, you know. I wish to not know. Next we got that A bad, by, by Travis way. Scott. This one was leaked a, like a while ago, like at a concert or something. This one was all right. Was Sean this the gave... one that we said was really disappointing? Yeah. Yeah, this one. Uh, this one was a 6-5 from Sean and a 7 from, from me. Yeah, it never quite kicked off. And it never felt like a, it didn't really feel like a Uzi Travis Scott, Scott song. This beat goes crazy though. Yeah, this is a good this beat. This beat goes crazy. I would have preferred like a little like Young Nudie or maybe a 21 Savage on this. Nah, 21, I don't think 21 Savage would work on this. Actually, nah, because he worked on Creepin'. If he can do creeping, he can do anything. He can work on anything, yeah. <laughs> All right, next we got Crush Em. This one was a five from Sean and a six, three from me. First half of this album, I'm not gonna lie, the first half of this album was kind of bad. Not even mid, it was just bad. Oh yeah, this album did not start well at all. It, it like was it was it was start. looking like it was looking like the the final chapter of Uzi's <laughs> career. For the fall off. This one was just a lot of these songs were just very like I couldn't tell what he was trying to do with them. Like it's not, so it felt scary. like he was trying to do rap, but he's doing those like this like, like this weird like, rock and like metal into Yeah, like it. this weird uh, emo it rap. Worked on, it worked on some of the songs. Like I like the one of the future songs that I won't mention yet. You just mentioned it. Suspense. Just mentioned it. It's not true. All right, next one. Next, we got Amped. This one was a 4.3 from both of us. Oh, this one was so bad. Ooh. I forgot he did that. That's oh, the is one. this the That's one we like? Only... <laughs> <laughs> this one? I don't know was why you did that, bro. That was terrible. That wasn't, good. that wasn't good. These, like, I hate people that talk over rock beats. Oh, which one was the song with the with Charleston White at the beginning? I, I, we didn't we didn't mention that. Maybe maybe it was a future song, but that that was so weird. X two, this one this had like an like a super monkey ball banana blitz type beat. Yeah, I actually I like the beat like for this I, one. Super I, monkey ball is a perfect way to describe like this. Something I hear in like an arcade or something. Like I don't I, don't I feel know like I'm about to start up a game of Splatoon. <laughs> this one was a it was a it was a. It never quite kicked off. That's how I would describe it. Yeah. It was good, but it never quite kicked off for me. This one was a seven from him and a six from me. This one was just, just all right. This is called the instrumental carry is what I call it. Yeah, that and on, on A too. <clears throat> on A, that beat carried heavily. Just an average Uzi song. A low uh, average Uzi song, I would say. Next we got Died and Came Back. This one was a seven from Sean and a 7.7 .7 from me. Oh, this is when we were at the gas station. Was it? Oh, this is when yeah, <laughs> this is when you completely disrespected that. Guy. Yeah, the gas attendant guy was—he uh, was already listening to the album, and I, I said it was not not good, and he didn't speak no, to me the rest of the said. time. You said it was something else. It? Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> this one was this one was good. This was—I think this is the start of it being good. 
What do we what do we rate that one? Seven. You gave it a seven. I gave it a seven. Seven to me is like seven is like it's not quite good enough to make my playlist, but I'll listen to it if it pops up. This one is uh, Spin Again. Sean gave this a six. Uh, I gave it a seven. So repetitive. So repetitive. This was the point in the album where I started to like doze off while I was driving. I was about to say you were driving. I was driving. Yeah, I started to doze off a little bit. Like I was listening to this, I'm like, please. Like I started asking Marcus how many songs we have left, <laughs> and he said, "Oh, we have like 16 songs left." <laughs> no, it was it was 20 at this point. Yeah, at this point it was 20. Yeah, this was which is this crazy. Was, this was bad news, man. Next we got that fire. Unfortunately. Did we not rate this we one? We did not rate this one. I feel like we listened to it. We, though, we right? listened to it. We we spent. We, this is when we. This spent, was so unmemorable. We didn't rate it. It's probably for the best that we didn't rate this one. Was you getting the six for this one, buddy? Six is fair. You're getting the six for that. Six fire, is fair. Buddy. I think a theme Better. with this. I think a theme with this album was instead of using some features. He tried to rely too heavily on modifying his own voice, which was not a good idea. So there's that. Just not a good idea from him personally. Not a big fan. Not everyone can do it. <clears throat> not everyone can do what Lil Yachty did. Next we got I Gotta. This one was a seven from Sean and a 7.2 from me. I think this is where things started to this change is, a this little is, bit. This is where the, the energy started to shift on things this Things started one. to change a little bit here. From here on, it was... Oh, was, was, well, we don't know yet. Yeah, we we don't know yet. This one, this beat was this beat was good. I like the beat. Oh, this one. This one sounded very presidential. Yeah. I thought this was like this was like Uzi. This is like average Uzi, like average to a little below average Uzi. All right. What's the next one? Next was Endless Fashion with Nicki Minaj. This one was interesting. I, I didn't. I didn't expect. Cause I didn't like the last song that they had. What was it? The, the way life goes. The way life goes. I thought I it was didn't like, like a really that good song. I didn't, personally, I didn't like. I didn't like how Nicki Minaj was coming on that one. I think Nicki Minaj is just amazing. I love Nicki. Nicki Minaj. Minaj. If you're if you're watching this video somehow, you can be in the channel. I love you. Nah, you just dissed her music, bro. She ain't interested. Nah, in I, it wasn't even her song, bro. She's paid. It, it was a feature. Nicki Minaj. This guy don't like you. I know every word. I'm all about I know you, every Nikki. word. A super freaky girl, bro. Love me, Nicki. I don't know. Yeah, you do you, man. All right, uh, what do we give this one? This one was a 7.8 from Sean, and then a, an 8 from me. This one was, this one yeah, was good. Yeah, I thought it was good. This was good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next we got Mama, I'm Sorry. This one was all right, nothing crazy. This one, this one was a 7 from him, a 7.6 from me. You know, average, you know, standard Uzi, whatever. Yeah, this one was all right. I like to slow it down. He started slowing it down a little bit at this point in the album. We started to get a little glimpse into what Uzi used to be in his prime. All right, next we got All Alone. This was double sevens from both of us. Bro, this album is so long. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> yeah, this album is fucking long, dude. All right, I'm gonna start rushing through them then. Is that okay? The good ones don't rush through, but the bad ones, like the mid okay. ones. Right, so this, this one was, was mid, right? This was, a, this was a seven from both of us. Yeah, a lot of sevens on this album, man. This album was full of songs that were like, like, all right, not nothing that stands out. Yeah. This is like, if this was on an Uzi album, if this was on Love Is Rage Two, this is the least listened to song on the album. Really? I think so. If this was on Love Is Rage Two, this is the worst song on the album. That's how good that Uzi used to be. Next, we got Nakamura. Bro, this Sean song was heat. He ended this song. Bro. This was the best song on the album, I think. This one he gave a 9.0. This was a highlight. Absolutely. I gave, I gave it an 8 too. This was this song was a highlight without question. I was a huge fan personally. Loved it. Unfortunately, I got to submit a homework assignment in 19 minutes. I just realized. All right. Now, <laughs> next, you got Just Wanna Rock. Um, this oh, one. this song is terrible. <laughs> All right. That one was Whoa! Next we got. Next we got Fire Alarm. <laughs> I like the beginning of this song. This is kind of cool. Was, nah, apparently not enough. You gave this one a six point eight. <laughs> yeah, because it was like thirty seconds of like some Soul Wax FM from GTA Five, some weird stuff. 
and then it just finished off just not being there's a bug amount I, 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 it's just like it just didn't finish that well kind of weird he should have stuck with the weird team the whole time Whatever. all right next we got cs that stands for chop suey uh i don't really yeah, like they chop suey. system of a down on this one i don't really like chop suey so i didn't give it a high rating marcus what'd you give this one uh i gave this one I gave it a 7.5, you gave it a 5.8. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of when artists just blatantly just copy another song. Uh, you know, be a little creative. Like, it doesn't, like, what's the purpose of it in this album? You know what I mean? Yeah. This album's very all over the place by KSI. Next, next, next one. Next, we got Werewolf by, with, with Bring Me the Horizon. Oh, this was a good one. This, this one's rock song, yeah. I love Bring Me the, or, uh, I love Bring Me the Horizon, so I'm heavily biased on this one. I guess yeah. one an 8.6, Sean gave this one a 7.9. They did, they did their thing Solid on this song. one. I don't even know if Uzi had a verse on this one for real. <laughs> really? He got carried on. All right, next we got Pluto, Pluto to Mars. I think this is going to end up this, being the best song on the album. This with one was time. good. Uzi was, he was, he, he was rapping on this one like he had bills to pay. This, this was old Uzi. This was good Uzi. This, this was one, like 2016 Uzi. This one was eight seven eight six. I might might even go this, up from. I might put it up to a nine. Nine. It's a good. That was a good song. Man. This one was good. Next we got patience with Don Tolliver. This one. Shout was. out Don Tolliver for the featureless feature on this <laughs> he was one. Invisible. Bro, on I didn't know where he ended up in this song. Good song nonetheless though. Yeah, Sean gave this one an eight little, five. I gave it an eight. Next we got Daisy. Solid a little sad song for people like me who are going through some sad stuff. You know. Uh huh. Some sad people out there. Okay. I relate to all of you, don't worry. Life gets better, trust me. There is a light at the end of the rainbow for everybody. I hope. I hope. Next, next I we got Daisy. Ne <laughs> <laughs> I miss him, bro. Next we got Days Come and Go. Sean gave this one a 7.8. I gave it a 7.6. Whatever. Standard. Next, we got Rehab. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Marcus. I'm here with my boy, Sean. Next, we got Rehab. This one was double sevens from both of us. This was double like seven. No, we don't even got to listen to this one. Next, we got The End, which I think he should have put this at the, <laughs> the end. <laughs> right. Oh, my. This one had baby metal on it. Oh, no, it was at the end. These are all uh, Oh, actually, bonus it is tracks. the end. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, This one, I like baby metal, so... I'm biased on this one. Show yeah, this was all over the place yeah. by KSI. This was just was such a weird track. It just kind of just went into like a whole bunch of different realms of rock and then pop and then rap. What, the whole album? Yeah, like it was the definition of like bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say, which, who knows? All right, this one was a 6 8 and a 7 7 for me. Next, we got Zoom. This was, these are the bonus tracks. Are they all sevens on here? Oh, yeah. These were all mid. We don't even have to go over them. All right. Zoom, seven. Of course, seven. You give it a seven, seven, actually. Oh, did I really? Yeah. Okay, it was a good song. And then Charday, this one was mid as fuck. Six. Six is across the board. Listen, man, this it was the album was a seven. That's a solid score. Seven is an That's album that was score. good. It wasn't great, but it was good. Whatever. This is... I'm, I'm, I might come back to this one in the future. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling, I feel like this one might come back in the future. Uzi, make an album with Cardi before I get angry at you. No, I think Cardi's, uh, Cardi's a mid rapper. I think Cardi's better than Uzi. I think a whole lot of red blows this out of the water, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Shout out everybody. We still got a lot of albums left to review this summer. It's gonna be a surgical Drake's summer. Drake's dropping. We got Drake Travis dropping. is dropping Travis two dropping. albums. Supposedly. Um, um I'm sure we'll hear something from maybe like a little the weekend, maybe a little 21 Savage or something. No, I was never a fan of the weekend. You're not a fan of the weekend? 21 I love, Savage I love me some drop an album, buddy. It's time. It almost, little Tekka. Little Tekka oh, can't forget about I love me, little Tekka, bro. And that's the end of the video. <laughs> awesome.